Hey YouTube, the Modern Reviewer here, and today I have something a little different for you. I'll be showing you how to jailbreak the 4.1 iOS firmware for the iPhone 3G and iPod Touch 2nd generation. Now, as you may know, you are able to download LimeRain, which will jailbreak the newer iPods and the newer iPhone. But that does not work for the iPhone 3G and the iPod Touch 2nd gen. So you will have to download the Red Snow and your IPSW firmware for either the iPhone 3G or the iPod Touch 2nd gen. Uh, all links will be in the description for you to be able to download them. So I'm going to click out of there. And so just to show you that I am running the 4.1 uh, version on my iPhone. Go to settings, general, about, and my version is 4.1, and the model number as well, uh, it cannot be MC untethered. If it is, this will not work for your iPhone or iPod Touch, so I'm good to go. Hook it up to your USB, to your computer, and good with that. Now let's go ahead and open up Red Snow and this will come up and we're gonna go ahead and open up the folder and finally the application and we're gonna run it run it again and now this box should come up and you're gonna hit browse and find wherever you saved your IPSW firmware and I saved mine to my desktop just to make it a little bit easier gonna double click on that and successfully identified now we're going to click next, patching the kernel. Now you have your list here of options that you can uh, put into your device. Now you have install Cydia, which I very, it, it's pretty much a given to have. You must have, it's really good to have Cydia. It's where all the tweaks and everything are. And the Verbus boot, that is pretty much the code of the device as it's booting up. It's it's somewhat cool. Then you have the custom boot logo and the custom recovery logo. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, enable multitasking. Uh, since it's being with the iPhone 3G, uh, I have noticed that my device was really slow when I had multitasking running on 4.0 when I jailbroke it. So I'm not going to do that this time, uh, just to make my device a little bit faster, give it that more, a little bit more edge. Uh, but I am going to check enable home screen wallpaper and the battery percentage uh, just to just to know how far I can push my device uh, with battery life. So I'm going to check that and I'm going to check the custom boot logo. Now for custom boot logo I just googled it and I found one that I liked and it has to be a uh, PNG format uh, so make sure you have that. So. All right, let's click next. Now this is going to be telling you to have your device plugged in uh, as well as turned off. So I'm going to do that right now. Turn this off. Slide power off. And there we go. So it's powered off. now. I'm going to click next and what you're going to do is you're going to be putting it in DFU mode. So how that goes is you're going to hold the power button for about three seconds. Then you're going to hold down the home button and for for uh, the remaining 10 seconds and you're going to let go of the power button but continue to hold on to the home button for around 30 seconds or until when it recognizes the device in DFU mode. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to set the camera down so I can do that. Alright, so click next. Hold down the power button for 3 seconds. Now hold down both of them for 10 seconds. And now I'm going to release the power button and continue to hold the home button for 30 seconds. Okay, now this will be happening on your screen. 
It's waiting for the reboot. Okay, you'll have the screen on both your phone, and it's installing everything. Now that's done. Now I'm going to click finish. Pretty much good to go. Now it's downloading the jailbreak data. This may take a while, uh, depending on uh, your device. <laughs> All right, so you have the running pineapple very cool logo placing the kernel flashing the NOR Now it's installing the bundles, so everything that you uh, wanted to download, such as Cydia. It's almost done. Seeking file systems. Now it's going to reboot. And there's my custom boot logo. Should be done. I hear my computer go, so it should be done pretty quick here. And there you go. Alright. And as you see, I do have the background wallpaper, and here you have Cydia. So, it has been jailbroken. You guys want, I can open up Cydia, have that run. And if you didn't know, Cydia, as I said in the beginning, is where you can get tons of stuff for your uh, phone or iPod. It's pretty cool. Uh, leave a comment. If you want to see some cool tweaks, apps, or so on in uh, Cydia that you'd like me to review, I can do that for you guys. So it's reorganizing everything, and but yeah, so that's pretty much how you do it. Uh, this will continue to finish up, and then it'll be ready for use. So. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please leave a comment if you like.
as I said, to see any uh, tweaks or apps or whatnot. Uh, I will have, I will definitely have more vi uh, videos in the future, uh, reviews and so on. Uh, please subscribe as well, please, please, please. Uh, I will have more videos, as I said. So, and like this video if you think it's in, uh, informative and if it's helped you. So, thanks a lot. All right, bye.